Expensive cars that look cheap. In a world of premium cars, the high price tag isn't the only determining factor of the car's position on the market. Upscale cars must offer much more to their customers, and apart from being expensive, those models need to feel costly, have unique features, recognizable design, premium interior materials, and trim, and so on. Only then can manufacturers expect to get the same recognition and respect from the customers as some other renowned luxury car brands. Unfortunately, sometimes car designers and engineers forget these things and introduce premium cars that just look cheap and are destined to become sales flops or laughing stocks of the whole automotive community. Today, we will talk about those models and present you with five examples. Number 1. The Volkswagen Phaeton the Phaeton can be considered to be one of the most expensive flops in the whole car industry. Ex-Volkswagen director Ferdinand Pieck had an idea of presenting the world's best luxury sedan and rival Mercedes, BMW, and even its own Audi brand. To accomplish that goal, the Phaeton used the D1 platform and chassis architecture shared with Bentley Continental GTs and the Bentley Flying Spur, potent engines, the most exquisite materials in the interior, and carefully chosen trim designs. The car debuted in 2002 with a lot of media attention, but very soon proved to be a sales disaster. The main reason for its failure was the fact that the Phaeton looked cheap, even though its base price was close to $100,000 back when it was new. Despite all efforts, the Phaeton still looked like a run-of-the-mill Passat, which was four times cheaper. The interior was elegant and luxurious. Still, the dash had almost the same switchgear as the rest of the Volkswagen range, and people just couldn't shake the economy car feel, which ultimately led to the Phaeton's demise. Number 2. The Chevrolet Corvette C6 American sports car icon the Chevrolet Corvette had an equal amount of praises and criticisms during its long 67-year-long career. Despite all that, the Corvette is still a fantastic car, but still had ups and downs during its eighth-generation history. In 2004, Chevrolet introduced the sixth-gen model called the C6, which was faster, more powerful, and much more capable than the model it replaced. However, it looked cheaper, even at an almost $50,000 base price. The C6 featured different designs and new interiors, but this was precisely the problem. The front end with exposed headlights looked so generic and almost like a Hyundai Coupe or Tiburon, and the interior was plagued by cheap plastic, dull design, and poor fit and finish. All of this meant that the C6 is now one of the best sports car deals on the second-hand market, and if you can overlook the cheap feeling, you can get yourself a serious performance machine. Number 3. The Hyundai Ecus Hyundai was never shy about its aspirations to become a luxury car brand, although its attempts were sometimes less than ideal, so to speak. Before it finally established the Genesis sub-brand with the sole intention of rivaling Mercedes or Lexus, Hyundai produced several premium models, and among those, the Ecus, a full-size premium sedan built from 1999 until 2016 in two distinctive generations. The second generation, produced from 2009, was a serious luxury car, but still without any recognition from mainstream buyers due to the simple fact that it looked very cheap, even when equipped with a leather interior and a V8 engine. The only thing that sets this car apart is the size, but the design is similar to economy models in the lineup, and the interior, although spacious, is nothing special. Number 4. The Chrysler Crossfire when Chrysler introduced the Crossfire concept in 2001, the car world was set on fire. Everybody was in love with the aggressive lines, the dynamic proportions, and promise of high performance. However, when the production version arrived a few years later, everybody was very disappointed by cheap interior materials, plasticky bits, soft suspension, and the fact that the Crossfire was, in fact, a Mercedes SLK in drag. The sales were disappointing and after a few years, the Crossfire was history. Simply, Chrysler made a car that looked like something you could build in your shed, and did a terrible job transforming a successful concept into the road-going model. The cheap look was responsible for depreciation, and a car that once cost around $40,000 can be bought today for a fraction of the original price. Number 5. The Hongqi L5 If you didn't know about the Hongqi L5, we can't blame you. The Hongqi is the Chinese state-owned luxury car company, 
and the L5 is their most prestigious model yet. With the base price of around $800,000, it draws the attention of the most discriminating Rolls-Royce buyers. Still, with its faux retro looks, questionable interior design, and unknown mechanics, it fails to make an impact outside of China. Despite being hand-built and finished up to the highest standards, the L5 still looks like a cheap knockoff and a classic car which was forcibly modernized with parts and components from eBay. Number 6. The Kia K900 Despite the low price of just $59,000 for the base models, famous LeBron James as its spokesperson and a potent V8 engine, the Kia K900 never managed to shake its cheap image. Introduced in 2013 as the first proper luxury car by Kia, which was sold globally, the K900 was based on a Hyundai Accus and Genesis models. The difference, though, was the design, and the K900 had a distinctive front end but rear light similar to a BMW 7 Series. Although it was an obviously accomplished car and great value for the money, the cheap feel and image of Kia as an economy brand were responsible for the slow sales. In 2019, Kia introduced a new generation of the K900, which unchanged the mechanics and engine choices, but with upgraded styling and a rear end, which resembles the Bentley Flying Spur. Copying the design of the Bentley just amplified the cheap knockoff image, though. So there you are. Can you think of any examples? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers!